the microphone is up there, so hang on. You can't beat that sound. A few people have asked me to do a video on my um, latest film camera. This is the Hasselblad 503 CW. This is a six by six medium format film. That means it shoots 120 film and your aspect ratio is six centimeters by six centimeters. Unlike most medium formats, which are 645, that is a six centimeter by 4.5 centimeter. So it looks a little bit rectangular like a 35 mil. The Hasselblad is square basically. And that's the coolest part about it. Plus it's a Hasselblad and they're beautiful cameras. I haven't really had much time to use this at the moment. I've been so busy with the gallery and other stuff. And I actually purchased this while I was in Taiwan. It was actually here on Trade Me. Now, Trade Me is New Zealand's version of eBay. And the seller was good enough to keep it for me until I got back, which I'm really happy about that because this is an amazing um, system, really. What I bought from him, like here, I'm going to reach over without dropping them. It even has all its own boxes. They've still got all the original boxes, which is. And I've just damaged one of them. Now nah, it'd be fine. The Hasselblad is a modular camera. Okay, so basically it all comes apart. Now, the back just comes off by a switch. Now, you cannot remove the back if the dark slide is not in there. So if you've got film in there, you can't damage the film in theory because you have to put the dark slide in to release the back. Now, I actually have two backs. This is the more modern back. So the dark slide actually goes in the back. It's got a holder for it now. This is the, the most recent of the backs. The older version, which it also came with, which is this one, you pull that out and you've got nowhere to put it, basically. There's nowhere to put it, you put it in your pocket. But, in saying that, there is a very cheap add-on to this made by a Chinese company, I believe. I will try and find it and put it in the link description that actually adds that plastic back to this back. And I may actually purchase that because it is quite handy being able to put the dark slide in the back. As you can see, it's a six by six. So basically, that is your size of your negative. Um, and the backs are really well made. Again, Hasselblads are incredibly well made. Once you've got the back off, the viewfinder comes out, okay? And then you've got the top glass. Now this comes out really easy. You just pop two pins, turn it upside down, and it comes for cleaning, basically. And you put it back in again, and then when you actually slide the viewfinder back in, it relocates the two holding pins in there, so you don't need to worry about that. The lens will not come off if you haven't advanced it. You must advance it, and then the lens will come off, okay? Very easy to change. And then hang on a minute, the microphone is up there, so hang on. You can't beat that sound. That's the barn doors on the back, so if you look on the back, I'll turn this down to as low as I can go. You can see, that's the barn doors. And that's what makes that unique sound of a Hasselblad. So the back goes back, oh hang on, let me put the viewfinder back on. So waist level finder. Now, you'll see a lot of people get these backs and they will just bash them together. You don't do that. You pull the pin and lock it in like that, it's easy. Do not bash them because you'll bend something and you'll damage the seal around it. So you just flick the switch and then close it up like that. Viewfinder comes up, you have inside the viewfinder you have a little switch here and you have a magnifier that comes up, which makes it quite handy. So this one, has the A12 6x6 back and it has the 80mm 2.8 which is possibly the most standard lens on these Hasselblad cameras. Now the accessories I got, I got another back, so I have two backs, I'm actually looking for a third back. There's, there's a good reason why I have two backs, get to that in a minute. I have a 60mm 3.5 lens um, which is going to be really good for landscape and I also have a 150 um, f4 lens. Now what you've got to be aware of with Hasselblad is you can't just screw in a filter. Hasselblad have their own system for that which this is actually a HB60. So it has these locking pins here, you turn it and it locks in. It doesn't actually screw thread in, so you can't actually add standard filters to the front of this lens. So you have to be aware of that. It's gonna be expensive to put normal filters on this as well. And the Hasselblad's colored filters are incredibly expensive. But I do have an adapter coming, which I ordered, for my Lee filters, which just actually locks into it. It's actually designed for this. And that means I can use my big stopper and little stopper and also my grad filters as well when using this camera. So that's a nice feature, but you've got to be aware that these, the HB 50, 60 and 70, different version lenses, but it's Hasselblad's own system, so it doesn't have a screw thread on it. Now let's get to some of the good stuff. I'll take the back off and I'm going to take this out. Then the set that I bought also came with this, which is a prism finder. 
So this makes it much easier to get the focus and get the shot. And it's also much easier for handheld. To add to that, it also came with this, which I didn't know Hasselblad made, which is an electronic advanced winder. Now, what this will do, this will advance the film instead of using the crank handle. Now, to put on the electronic winder, you have to take off the crank handle on the side, but you also have to take off the lens. And then this just and it basically goes on that, lock it in, and then you put on lens. And now you can bring the camera and you can and it will advance the film for you. Now it also has single, continuous, and it has another nice feature, which is this. This is a remote, which I thought was quite cool, basically. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but basically, without touching the camera, you can wind the film on. See, very cool little remote. Got a nice little lever strap to that too. That also came with my kit, and I got hoods. We'll put them out of the way. I've got a level handle, and I got a Hasselblad polarizer, which is really, really cool. And I also got this. This is a Polaroid back for the Hasselblad. Um, I actually still have in my fridge some Fujifilm FP100C Polaroid film, basically, for this. And I may do a video on that. I may go out and shoot some of it. I don't really want to shoot any of it anymore because at the moment they're selling for about $180 a pack. I think I paid $15 for mine. And they're $180 and I'm really hesitant to go out and shoot it because it's probably the most expensive film you can shoot now. If you want me to do a video on the Fujifilm FP100C instant film and the back, let me know. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I want to do that or not though because that film is so expensive. Now this camera will be used for an upcoming project that I have, which is I'm gonna be using at cross film and I'm going to be shooting some scenery, basically, and some old towns in New Zealand and documenting them on the House of Lads. And that was the main reason why I got it. And I'll also be shooting landscapes. Plus, I want to shoot more film and I want to shoot in the square format, which is what the House of Lads gives me. Now, this has been a quick look at this camera and the system because a few of you saw this camera posted on my social media and you've asked me to do a video about it. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments section below. If you can give me some advice or anything you can recommend with shooting the Hasselblad 503CW, please let me know down below. Now, one more thing. The reason why I got the 503CW is because this back here obviously comes off and Hasselblad have just made a new 50 megapixel digital back for this camera, which will be released next month. And I've actually pre-ordered one. That was the reason why I've been looking for one of these. I actually saw one in Taiwan, I was gonna buy it. And then this came up on Trade Me, so I purchased it. Because I can put a digital back on this old retro camera, but still shoot film. There's no other camera in the world that you can do that with at the moment, especially with a waist level finder. So that's gonna be very exciting when that comes out. But the main reason I got this is I wanna shoot more film. Now, do you guys want me to do a series of videos on my journey with the Hasselblad? What I learned and my experience with the Hasselblad and what I think about shooting with it. If you do, let me know down in the comments section. Um, I'm more than likely gonna do it because it's something I wanna do. I wanna do the journey with shooting the Hasselblad, especially here in New Zealand and when I travel overseas. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. If you have any thoughts about the Hasselblad or anything you think I should know about shooting with the Hasselblad, please let me know down in the comments section. But as always, thank you so much for watching. You can